In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a rocking chair. And I'll also put some links in the description of some of the tools that I'm using. So to make this project, I'm going to make it entirely out of oak. And so the first thing I got to do is head to the old lumber store and pick up some wood. This project, I am going to use the pocket holes method, and I'm going to get up some screws here. I want to make sure I get the hardwood screws, though, because it does make a difference. To make way over to the hardwood section, I'm going to get some of these quarter by four inch by four foot boards. And these would be for the seat ports. I want to grab six of those. Now I'm going to look up here and grab some of these one by six by sixes and grab two of these. I always like to kind of look at the board, see how non-straight they are. It is nice to be able to pick out your own lumber, but sometimes it may take a little bit to find some good straight ones. Next, I'm going to grab some of these one by four by sixes. I'm going to grab two of these here. Same thing, just try to take a peek at it, see how crooked it is. <laughs> Now these just happen to be right next to the hardwood section here and although I already have one I highly recommend getting one of these it's really helpful and you actually see me use one of these in the video um, but I'll actually put a link in the description where you can actually buy one of these as well but they're really handy and really good to have and then last but not least we're going to pick up one of these four foot oak steps now I chose to use these because of their one inch thickness and they're a little bit cheaper but you want to go ahead and grab two of these now starting with these oak steps, we're going to make the back legs here, which also be the back rest. First thing we're going to do is we're going to measure five and a half inches and then measure 17 inches up. Once I have that, then I'm going to go back to the bottom and measure an inch and a quarter over and then make another 17 inch mark. And that way I'll have the bottom portion of the back rest. And then I'll take my 48 inch T-square and go from that top of the 17 inch mark to the corner of the board and do that two times. And this will give my angle of the back board here. And once you have that, you just repeat the step and you'll be able to cut it out like you see here in the video. Now in this video here, I'm actually making two rocking chairs. So I'm going to repeat this step three more times. But if you're just making one, you just need two backrest. Next, I'm just going to grab my planer and go ahead and kind of smooth the front and back edge of this. And after that, I'll do a little bit of sanding. Next, you're going to make two of these that are going to be for the side bracing that I'll show here in just a minute. What you're going to do is you're going to grab some of that oak. You're going to cut a inch and a quarter inch wide by 17 inches in length. Next, we're going to make the front portion of the legs here that will attach to the backs. Next, I'm going to grab one of those back braces that we cut out, and I'm going to measure up 17 inches, and also measure up to 24 and a half. And this will be the front brace, and also going to be a part of the armrest for later. Now, if you notice here, I'm going to grab that speed square, and go ahead and mark that 17 inch, and I'm going to take that saw and cut right up to that 17 inch mark. Now the angle that we were able to mark up with that back brace, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out with a saw here and get that nice good straight angle. Now next, we're going to cut three curved pieces for the seat. Now the first two are going to be an inch and a quarter thick by 21 inches long. And that third one is going to be three quarter inches thick by 21 inches long. Now once I get one of these cut out, what I'm going to do is I can tell here I'm going to use it as a template. That way I make sure I get the exact same angles and the exact same cuts for the rest of these here. Next we're going to make the bottom portion of the rocking chair, the actual curved rocking piece itself. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a 31 inch piece and then we're going to go to the dead center of that 31 inches and go down 4 inches. And we're going to kind of do the same thing with the 41 8 inch T-square that you may need a hand for. And just kind of give that perfect curve going all the way down that 4 inch mark. So you have two of those cut out. What you're going to do is you're going to lay it on the ground next to that frame that you made. And you're going to kind of lay it on top of there. And you're going to be able to see the angles that you're going to cut off here. Now the back portion of the leg you're going to cut about 4 inches high compared to the front leg and that'll give more of a backward motion for the rocking. 
Now next I'm going to grab my quarter by f six by four foot pieces of oak here and I'm just going to split those right down the middle here. And what these will be are the seat portion of the rocking chair. Now once I get these ripped right down the middle, I'm going to go ahead and take them over to the saw. I'm going to cut them to a length of 22 inches. And you'll need a total of 10 of these at 22 inches for your chair. And next we're going to grab a 3 quarter inch board and cut out the armrest for the chair. Now you can really use any design that you want. I try to keep it as simple as possible and I actually just use a spray cane here to kind of give a good circle on the top here. Now just like all of our other cuts, make sure you, when you cut the first one out, it's just to use that to trace and as a template. That way the second one will look exactly the same. And again, you're just going to need to do a little bit of sanding. I use a planer here to kind of get a curved edge. That way it's just not a straight 90 degree corner like wood typically is. And once I did the planer, I went through with some sandpaper and just sanded it real good. And you can see that I cut out a notch for the back of the back wrist, which you'll see when I apply it here in a minute. Also going to put a pocket hole there to be able to hold it whenever I attach this to the chair. Now I'm going to work on the top portion of this back wrist. And if you notice, I put a little bit of curve in there. You can make this however you want. Um, but I'm just going to use that 48 inch T-square again to be able to get that curve that I want. And this width should be 21 inches long. Now for this bottom backrest here, I'm just going to get my 1x4, just cut it to 21 inches wide. Now the axle and middle support here are the backrest, or can really be whatever length you want them to be. Mine ended up being 23 inches, but I'm going to cut them out and make them 3 quarter inches wide, and then I'll put pocket holes on each side. And you'll see here in a minute, it's just kind of preference or how tall you want this to be or how short you want to be, um, just more of a cosmetic thing here. Now we're going to cut two for the front and back bracings on the bottom. We're going to be three quarter by three quarter by 21. And then two more are going to be three quarter by three quarter by 17. Now we're going to grab those two back legs and those two front legs that we cut out earlier, along with those two 17 inch boards. And we're going to go ahead and attach these together here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark up 17 inches on all four boards. And just if you kind of notice the way these angles are facing, they're kind of facing towards the left or towards the back here. It matters which way these angles are facing. And I'm going to go ahead and put those pocket holes on this, each end of that 17 inch board here. Once I complete that first one, I'll go ahead and start on that second one. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that second 17 inch piece to be able to have those two front and back legs put together. And once I have these put together with those pocket screws, I'm going to go ahead and grab those two thicker of those angled cuts that we made earlier. And that's going to be the portion that's going to hold the seat place together. And I'm going to go ahead and screw one to the back leg and one to the front leg. Again, it's 17 inches up. Once you get that, go ahead and grab that other bracket that we made and go ahead and put those together. And it starts looking like a chair here. Now I did pre-drill some of these holes, so I'm going to drill directly from the bottom of the rocker up into the chair to give a little bit more strength to it. And once you have that done, it kind of looks like a rocking chair right now. Next I'm going to grab these armrests, and they sure to have a notch cut out in the back. If you haven't, go ahead and cut that notch out, and you can just kind of put up against that backrest, make sure you have the right width here. Um, I'm going to use that pocket hole that I screwed in earlier and go ahead and put that screw in there. And then I'll put a actual drill a hole straight on top of the armrest here towards the front, as you can see, and put a screw straight down. Now I'm going to grab this top portion of the backrest and go ahead and attach that. And again, I'm going to drill holes from the outside and screw from the outside. And I'll come back through later and fill these holes in with the dowel rod. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the bottom portion here and go ahead and attach and screw that in. And then we'll grab these more middle portion here and go ahead and start putting these in. And again, just using pocket screws and glue to hold these in. Next, we're going to grab that 3 quarter by 21 inch curved piece that we cut out earlier. And we're going to go ahead and put some pocket holes on each end. If you notice that the curved end is up right now. And then we're going to be able to attach this to the center here. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to give it about a good half inch below the top of this brace here. And you'll see why here in a minute why we're going to do this. 
gonna grab those three quarter by three quarter by 17 and 21 inch boards that we cut out earlier and i'm gonna measure eight inches down from the bottom of the seat here and go ahead and attach those for extra support and bracing here and i'm gonna use the wood screws and also the wood glue to help hold those I'm going to grab that 22 inch long piece that's a quarter inch thick that we're going to use for the seat and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a one inch finish nail and I'm only going to attach it to the front and back portion not the middle and you'll see why here in a minute while we kept that middle bracket just about a half inch lower and if you notice I was just using a scrap piece of wood just kind of keep a nice good even amount of spacing all the way across and a little bit of sanding here to finish it off. I'll kind of zoom in here and you can see why we didn't nail that and kept about a half inch lower. Get a little bit of a spring, a little more comfort. Now I'm going to grab that 3 8 inch oak dowel rod and put some glue on one end, put it in the hole, and then cut it off flush. And this is be a great way to hide those screws. And since it's oak, it gr looks great and blends well. It always amazes me how you can just take a pile of wood, cut it up, and make it into something beautiful and useful. Something like this, a rocking chair. And I appreciate you watching my video, and I hope you learned something new. And I hope you give it a try. You make one of your own. And if you get a chance, to hit subscribe, and I'll try to make some more videos that are useful like this.